Hey everybody, this is a Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Satisfactory. We have work to do. Our um, tractor, compacted coal tractor. I figured out what the problem was. Over at the rod factory there, um, I just didn't have the truck station powered. So it wasn't hooked up to power, and so the truck was just sitting there, I guess, waiting to unload its cargo uh, at a truck station that didn't have power. Got it working again, but then once we started placing all these platforms at the end of last episode, uh, that caused some problems. The tractor <laughs> was trying to get up here, couldn't, kind of glitched through a little bit, and then just ended up here, and this is where it sits. Let's, um, let's turn this off. Looks like autopilot automatically disengaged. Let's go in here, and coal refuel this route. We're going to delete it because we're going to need to do a new route. And, oh, check it out. This display actually shows how much fuel is used per trip. So, yeah, that's the reinforced iron plate route. Shows the path length, the distance, how many vehicles are on that route, and how much fuel is used for the trip. That's nothing. I like it. I like it. This guy, let's see... I guess we can just hop out, or let's move him out of the way. Can you climb up this? Let's move this guy out of the way for the moment. We're going to have to record another path. Don't go, don't go, don't go. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. The naval autopilot. Okay. Disable autopilot. Boom. Delete path. Yeah, I'm not sure why that thing ran off. Autopilot should not have been on, but who knows. There's a few aspects of these things that are a little un or unintuitive in my view. Okay, the engine's off. He's done. What we want to do now in this episode, we'll start with the compacted coal route, and then we can get this guy back in motion, and we'll pick pick one of these truck stations. We placed these last episode. I think we'll make this one a compacted coal. So this is going to be a load, right? And we need to get power down here over this way. Should we bring it? Hmm. I kind of want to bring it from over there, to tell you the truth. Let's take it from here, and then uh, just bring it up here somewhere. That platform doesn't serve much of a purpose. You, and then spot up onto here somewhere. Here. That guy powered up. That guy powered up. Okay, this is set to load. Or we want, I'm sorry, we want this one to be unload. We want to unload the compacted coal that's coming in. And then we need a way to ramp up to this area. So let's extend the platform a bit. I think that'll do it. Now we have to re-record another big long tractor route. Let's do it. Work that's gotta be done, so let's do it. We can start pretty much anywhere, so we'll start here at the closest convenient location. About here, and then this, the second one in, right, is the, uh, the coal, compacted coal. So let's do Q, record, start recording. And we got our little 
buddy here in the way, of course. Up here, up to unload. Okay, out. This time we're gonna go out this way. We're going to go... Oh, these guys, man, they are constantly getting in the way. Go pick up compacted coal. I think I need to go quite a bit this way to catch our ramp. Head over to the iron rod factory. Try to stay on this ramp, barely. <laughs> I'll extend that ramp. Uh, as soon as I remember to do it. We are going to cross paths with the reinforced iron plate tractor. Hopefully it won't be an issue. where we're crossing that path it'd be a problem should have made that a sharper turn maybe okay coal is the third stop and of course we have someone in our way F to unload okay good to go there off to the steel factory. Again, we have to cross paths. I'm going to try and do it sharp. And maybe we won't get into that situation where they're head-to-head -head kind of blocking each other. here. Just waiting for that progress bar on the bottom right to finish up. Okay. And now we just need to complete the path and hopefully this guy will be back in action. Okay. 
save this one to uh, compact a full refuel one. Save. Alright, that's that. Hopefully that's that. We'll see. There's a chance it's going to collide with another one and block it. But we'll have to just get better at it as we go. Okay, now we have compacted coal. We could do another truck route. Hmm. Could do another truck route. What did I do with that guy? Did he just hop down? Yeah, he hopped down here. Let's... Is that going to be a problem? Let's put ramps here for now. Oh, we could have made this look a little better. Maybe that'll suffice. Yeah, now our options are bring in the modular frames. Uh... Route this coal. We got a bunch. We got a bunch to do. Let's just um, let's get on it. Let's route the coal coming out of here, compacted coal, into this guy. I need a splitter probably up top. Uh, that'll come later. So let's do it. Conveyor lift here. Uh, here, sorry. You up to the ceiling. And you up to the ceiling. And then belt these together. You, not you, but you. Uh, that one is not high enough, is it? Is it? Doesn't seem like it, right? It seems like that belt is climbing up. Let's see if we can make that conveyor lift a little better. Looks like it's not really all the way. Yeah, oh well. I think it's okay. Come across. Um, is this going to do the same thing? Let's see. Yeah. My bad. That needs to go, and that needs to go. Not going to let me do this because I'm too close. So maybe I just have to... Oh, let's... I can get a better angle here. That's what I want, and that's what I want. Now this will be a refueling station. No, what's going on? Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, right here. Boom, in the bottom left. Yeah, that's all good. Whoa, watch out, don't get hit. Oh, that's nice to see, actually. That tractor made its way all the way. Here comes some more compacted coal. Yeah, and this guy's going to be able to do a bunch more stations, too. 
Uh, let's see if he makes his way. Yep. Nice. Alright. That's Cole taken care of. Do we want to bring in the frames? I think we probably do. Um, where do we want to do that? A new truck here. And we have to go all the way out there to get them. That station's ready for us to pick up from. Let's, um, I'm going to grab the Explorer. If I can find it. Uh, let's look at the top of the HUD. Here we are. I want to make sure that that modular frame truck station is set for loading. Let's go check that, and then we can run the truck route. Uh, before we do, before we do, let's, while we're over here, let's make sure this one is loading. And then we can uh, just build the tractor over at the rod factory and start the route from over there. You. Uh, this should be set to unload as well, right? Boom. We want to unload the trucks that come through here and take their modular frames. Okay, good to go. That was worth doing. Now let's get out of here. That's our reinforced plates coming in. This right here. This is our modular frames getting ready to ship out. It is set to load. So that is right. Let's get a truck or a tractor going. There's modular frames being dropped off. I guess we want to start anywhere. Right here would be fine. Spawn ourselves a truck, tractor rather. Boom. Up in. Start recording. No fuel. Start recording. Looks, uh, let's do. Stop. Delete. Delete path. Start recording. Alright, here we go. This is us shipping out modular frames to the steel factory. F to load cargo. Wait for the progress bar on the bottom right. Guessing we need to do that. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to play it safe. Okay. Out. I not like the clipping, man. That just looks horrible. All right, we're going to take our sharp turn, just like the compacted coal truck did, and follow this route. As long as we're heading in the same direction, I imagine we can overlap. First truck stop on the left is the one we want. Unload. I don't have a nice clean path out of here. Let's uh let's go this way. We won't clip into belts or anything. Yeah, I should have put ramps. Okay. 
I need to go out. I'm going to cross paths here, which is a little dubious. How do I want to do this? I'm going to cut across here. And go up this way. Hopefully these aren't going to collide. But if they do, we will solve it. I wouldn't mind joining up with the compact to cool path somewhere out here. There it is. This is something like that. Boom. Okay, hopefully that's going to work. I have a feeling we're going to have more. Tr Collision problems where paths are crossing. But, uh, we'll solve those problems once we see them. And okay, now we need to figure out how we want to route those modular frames. We're going to combine those with steel beams in this factory. Park my explorer here out of the way. Hello, hello. Oh, that was an auto save. Let's take these stairs and just see what's going on here at the steel factory. We've got tons of extra space at the steel factory. <laughs> Lots of extra space. Might be able to trim this factory back. We'll see. See, I think there's going to be a lot of stuff being done here. This is just our smelting floor. Been a while since we worked over here. Uh, this looks like what? More smelting, maybe? This is our steel pipes. Not gonna use those. We need the steel beams. I think that's next. Okay, there's our steel beams. We've got a storage array. It's kind of a tiny storage array by my standards lately. But we have a bunch of steel beams. These need to be combined. Need to be combined with the modular frames. We could do it right on this floor. Just depends if we want to leave room to scale this out further. Can't remember how we've even scaled this, what it's scaled to. Feeling good, steel beams. I don't know what else we're going to be using steel beams for. Looks like everybody's coming into... Oh, that's a splitter. Here's the last merger, right? So I've got a splitter here that's moving to kind of handcrafting needs. Uh, I may take advantage of this and grab some of these. because We use these for belts. Look and see how many I have. Um, I'm doing okay. Grab three stacks. And that's meant for either export or, or to use for crafting. Tempted to branch off of this, right? We've got the splitter boom. And somehow use this factory space to do our versatile frameworks. The only thing is look at that recipe again. The only thing is that um, we might need a whole bunch if the processing time is slow for these. Yeah, you get two per cycle, five per minute. 
we might have to have a bunch of these assemblers put down. Um, I guess we'll have to assume our steel beam throughput. As being, I don't know, one full belt? Yeah, I guess we'll say one full belt. That's what we'll scale it to, 240 parts per minute. So what is that going to be? 20, 20 of these guys, 20 assemblers to pull that off. Um, let's go up a floor and see what's up on the next floor. I think this is it. This is where we're going to do it. So let's bring up these things. The steel beams, that is. I'm going to come straight out and climb the ceiling and send these up right here, I think. In fact, we could climb the ceiling right there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to actually... I'm going to come along the floor just in case we want to split off of this again. I'm not sure what's coming later. Um, but how can I do that? I need, yeah, I need a conveyor lift kind of in the middle here. To reverse it. Yeah, 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 right there. Boom. And you are going to face that way. Boom. I think this is going to work. Let's see. The only downside of this is I can't use them. I'm not making use of the storage arrays like this buffer. Um, do I care? Don't think I care. I care. <laughs> So, yeah, what I'm thinking about right now is we've got this nice buffer. Should we be pulling out of that buffer? And should we be extending this out? Um, that comes in handy if there's a slowdown. Right, and things back up. If there's a slowdown, things back up, then I can develop this huge cache without having to wait for these. Um, let's do that later. Let's just take this as it is. This is the quicker approach. And if there's a problem, we can come back and scale all this up. I think that's going to do it just fine. Okay, now we got to bring up our um, modular frames. Let's do that. Let's uh, just pick a port. Place to put a port, I should say. And then these are going to be the modular frames going up. Need to poke that through all the floors. that spot stays open all the way down. I suppose I could have checked that. Oops. Yeah, it's not gonna... Oh, man. 
Let's see. Is that going to look horrible? Uh, might be acceptable. Did it do what I wanted it to, or did it do something funky? It did something funky. Can't seem to get to where I want to get. Third time is going to be a charm here, hopefully. You to you. Uh, I'm willing to accept that. Wouldn't be how I'd design it, but in the interest of time, we'll take it. Yeah, we have the same thing here. Want to jump? Thought about jumping. All right, there's our input. We need to get the modular frames all the way over there. Oh man! See if we can do it. We got to do some creative belt weaving here. Pull this off. There's our output. We're loaded up. Start with conveyor lift and we'll see how high we can take this thing. Uh, we could just start this direction. And we want to... Ooh, this could be a straight run. Oh man, that would be nice. That would be nice. Is that right? I don't know. Let's see. Can I actually run this belt down the middle? Man, this is going to work out pretty amazing for this belt anyway. Need to put my conveyor lift down over here so we can connect to something. Oh man, I like how that turned out. Wow, luck. Take it. I will take the luck. That worked out pretty nice. Wow. Uh, did I just hear a tractor come by? Yeah. What are you doing? Hasn't glitched out yet. Oh, there he goes. Oh. <laughs> and we move the power. Yeah, we should, right? We're going to have to. Uh, let's do it. I don't know that we have to, but um, it's a little goofy not to address that problem, I think. Uh, we could go one more down, I suppose. Might be just as good. Okay, back up the stairs, and let's get to factory building. We have, what did I say, like 20 assemblers to put down? Uh, I need to put more stairs in, so we're not having to run across the factory here 20 miles. Definitely need more stairs. Probably can turn off the flashlights for now. 20 assemblers, we'll see. One floor or two for this. I would like to do one floor. Uh, this is us. This is us. We're going to output versatile frameworks. We want room for maybe the output belts to go there. We're going to have to split the inputs most likely. Let's see. Let's get some assemblers. See how this is going to lay out. Um, 
That's plenty of room. And I could come back to do here. Oh man, sometimes it's hard to place these things. They're so big. Okay, one. Yep, that one moved. Tell you what, I'll place them and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. I'm just starting to route the inputs here. I've got all of our assemblers placed. I decided to go with actually 10 on each side and have one big giant row. We'll have the outputs on this, you know, out on the outsides, the inputs shared on the inside. And we're just going to develop this to assume that we have um, a belt of 240 steel beams coming in. That's what we're scaling the factory to. We'll see if we can actually output that many or not. Modular frames is, we'd hardly use any of these. It's one to 12, so that's not gonna be an issue. But I'm gonna try and go with one line. We'll see if it's a bottleneck, we'll ramp up the steel factory and, and maybe add another floor or something for a versatile frameworks. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Um, in between episodes, I'll finish routing this stuff and then when we come back next episode, we'll either build a storage array and we've got room here to do it if we want, or we could leave this for future expansion. Hmm. Probably do a storage array here. I think, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. And if we're not okay, we can rip out the storage array because, uh, it'll probably be empty if we're, if we need to scale up. So yeah, maybe a storage array on this floor. One big long row of industrial containers and then some type of belt to get these out of here, I guess. We'll have to see it. In between, I'll try to look, remember to look at the wiki and see where the versatile frameworks are used and how many we need. Um, just not sure if we're going to want to transport these by tractor or if we're just going to transport them by hand over to the space elevator. The first batch of 500 we can probably do by hand. I'll check and see what the stack size is. Hopefully our tractors are doing their thing. Let's take a look, see if we can spot them. Okay, there's one coming. That looks like, yeah, that is our reinforced plates, right? That one does not come near the steel factory so much. I don't see anybody stuck in this choke point here. That's a kind of a place where they could get stuck. And there's, there's our two other ones. One's going into the rod factory. Or no, they're both coming. Both coming by. Cool. No one's stuck yet. <laughs> that's a good sign. And they should all have plenty of fuel. So that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I like those quite a bit. And once we're producing the versatile frameworks, we'll see if one tractor is enough for the reinforced plates and the modular frames or if we need to add more to those routes. Very cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. This guy's turning in. And this guy's turning in. So we got a compacted coal and we have someone dropping off modular frames for us. And reinforced plates. There he goes. Come around. And off to the rod factory he goes. Going to take a wide path around here in case we put truck stations along this section, the copper plant. Okay. These guys are going to kind of come into an intersection. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Looks like this guy waited. Hopefully it's going to go. Keep our eye on this one. This is, I believe is our modular frames one. That's the compacted coal making his last stop before going to get more compacted coal. Okay, this guy is back in action. He's going to go get modular frames, I believe. Nice. I like it. Yeah, that's it for now. Uh, we'll come back next episode. Storage array. Versatile framework. Done. 
then maybe we'll go, maybe we'll go out on an excursion. Have to think about it. I will see you in the next episode.